Hi there, my name is Grace DeRosha. I am a registered dietitian and a health coach at Blue Cross Blue Shield of Michigan. I want to talk to you today about some things that you can do at work to help get you moving a little bit more. But first, some facts to help inspire and motivate you. Here's a few facts about sitting. Did you know on average, we actually sit 9.3 hours a day as Americans, while we only sleep 7.7 .7 hours? Okay, so, Sitting at least six hours a day increases the risk of our death by 40%. Again, this is just things for you to think about so we can get moving just a little bit more, especially when we're at work. People who have jobs where they sit are two times more likely to develop cardiovascular disease compared to those who stand at their job. Sitting burns almost no calories. And after sitting for two hours, the good cholesterol, which is our HDL, actually drops by 20%. And we want that number for men to be over 40 and for women to be over 50 at least. So HDL, that happy good cholesterol, we want that number high. So for sitting, it drops. People who sit and watch TV for at least three hours a day are actually 64% more likely to die from heart disease. And then those who watch six hours or more of TV a day may actually be cutting five years off of their life, almost as much as someone who's a, who is a lifelong smoker. And then lastly, after the age of 25, every hour viewed of TV decreases a person's life by 22 minutes. So with that being said, I want you to think about some things that you can do to get up a little bit more throughout your workday. One thing that I like to do is I actually set an alarm so that I get up every hour, whether it be a water nudge where I go and drink some water or use a restroom or just take a little walk around for a few minutes. Other things that you can do just in general to help burn some calories and get you moving a little bit more, take the stairs instead of the elevator or escalator. Think about sitting on a stability ball like the one I'm sitting on right now to help work your core. Also. Think about standing at your desk sometimes. That will actually help break up the day so you're not sitting all day long. Other things you can do, if you're making photocopies or heating up your food for lunch, instead of just sitting there and watching it, think about taking a little stroll, or you could do things like testing your balance, um, even squats and lunges, make it a challenge with some of your colleagues. Another great thing to do with coworkers is actually go for a walking meeting we try to do this every once in a while too. You can't do it with too many people, but two or three people, you could definitely get a, get a nice little walk in and not have to sit all day in an office meeting room. Other little things that you can think about to do, um, instead of emailing or calling a colleague, go walk over to them and have a discussion at that point so then you can get up and take a time out from that computer and that desk. Other facts to think about, about why it's important to live a healthier lifestyle and have healthier habits. Over 60% of chronic conditions are actually avoidable by making healthy lifestyle changes. So that would be including exercise, also eating more fruits and vegetables, and quitting any kind of tobacco use. So think about that a little bit. You can keep yourself healthier and avoid heart disease, diabetes, high blood pressure, cancer, all of those things by just making a few healthy lifestyle changes. Also, did you know that muscle mass is actually linked to longer life? So think about that. The more lean muscle that you actually have in your body, the faster your metabolism works for you and also helps you live longer. It is actually proven that inactivity boosts the risk of cancer. And I think this is a very interesting statistic here. Between 1980 and 2000, exercise rates stayed the same. So everyone was still exercising the same amount, but sitting time increased by 8%. And in that time, the obesity rate also doubled. So everyone was exercising, but then they started sitting a little bit more and then everyone was gaining some more weight. I always talk about the best medicine. The best medicine actually gives you more energy, puts you in a better mood naturally, it allows you to sleep better, it prevents diabetes and helps control blood sugars, it also prevents cardiovascular disease and prevents high blood pressure, and keeps you healthier in general. 
Not to mention the fact that it keeps you more productive and efficient at work. You'll have less headaches if you move around at work a little bit more. And this best medicine is actually known as exercise. The healthier we are, the better it is for productivity, and then there's less absenteeism at work as well. So get moving and do what you can to live a healthier lifestyle. So now that we've given you some ideas on how you can break up the 3 p.m. slump, what are things that you can do to help get you moving and keep you healthy? Make sure you check out ahealthiermichigan.org where I am a blogger with tons of health and wellness tips that will help you at the workplace.